Hello, I am Jaya Srivastava, Assistant Professor in ABS Engineering College, Ghaziabad. Here we discuss the topic linear and binary search. The main problem behind this topic is searching an item from any record. So there are two ways. First is your linear search and second one is your binary search. So first we discuss about the linear search. In linear search, if we have given a list of record, each record has an associated key. If we give an efficient algorithm for searching for a record containing a particular key, then there is problem to find the item and the efficiency of an algorithm is quantified in terms of average time analysis to retrieve an item. Here is example. In this example, the keys are ID numbers and given a particular key, how can we efficiently retrieve the record from the list? So the, there are 700 records. If we found a particular ID, that is the difficult task. In serial search, a step through array of record one at a time, look for the record with matching key, search is stop when record with matching key is found or when search has examined all records without success. The pseudocode for the serial search is search for the desired item in the n array elements starting at a first, that means the first index of the array, returns pointer to the desired record if found, otherwise we return the null. So for i is equals to first, i less than n and i plus plus, if a first plus i is the desired item, then return and a first plus i. If we drop through loop, then desired item was not found, then return the null. So in serial search analysis, what are the worst and average case running time for serial search? We must determine the big O notation for the number of operations required in search. Number of operation depend on N, the number of entries in the list. Worst case time for serial search for an array of N elements, the worst case time for serial search required N array access because we have to search n times for finding the element. Consider cases where we must loop over all n records. Desired record appears in the last position of the array or desired record does not appear in the array at all. So if we talk about the average case for serial search assumptions, all keys are equally likely in a search. We always search for a key that is in the array. For example, if we have an array of 10 records, if we search for the first record, then it requires only one access of the array. But if the second, then two array access and etc. The average of these search is, is the sum of 10 numbers and divided by 10, that is 5.5. So if we generalize the average case, to so generalize the array of size n, expression for average case running time is 1 plus 2 plus and so on n and divided by the n that is equal to n plus one by two. Therefore, the average time, average case time complexity of serial search is order of n. If we talk about the binary search, perhaps we can do better than order of n in the average case. Assume that we are given an array of record that is sorted. For instance, an array of records with integer keys sorted from smallest to largest, example, ID numbers, or an array of record with string keys sorted in alphabetical order, example, names, or we can also take the example of dictionary. So in binary search, the pseudocode can be defined as if size is equals to zero, that means there is no error, array and found false. Else, we find the mid value, that is the index of approximate midpoint of array segment. If the value we have find, the key value that is target is equals to A of middle, then target has been found. Else, if target is less than A of middle, search for the target in area before the midpoint or else search for the target in area after midpoint. In example, sorted array of integer keys, there are an array, here is the seven elements, 3, 6, 7, 11, 32, 33, 53. And the target value we have searched is 7. So we firstly find the approximate midpoint. Here the midpoint is 3. We can also find the midpoint by the lowest index. 
plus highest index divided by 2 and we take the floor value. So here is the lowest index is 0 and the highest index is 6. 0 plus 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. That is the approximate midpoint. So we can match the target value with the midpoint. If 7 is equals to midpoint, but it is not equal to the midpoint. So we find if 7 is less than to midpoint, yes, 7 is the less than of midpoint. So we find the value in the before of midpoint. In before of midpoint, the lowest index is 0 and the highest index is 2. So the midpoint, we calculate the approximate midpoint that is equals to 1, that is 6. Now we next match the target value with the midpoint. Target is not is equals to midpoint. So we check that target is less than P of midpoint. Yes, target is less than of no target is not less than of key of midpoint. Then we check that target is greater than key of midpoint. Yes, target is greater than key of midpoint. So we go to the next part. In the next part, search for the target in the area after midpoint. Fixed approximate midpoint is target is equals to midpoint key. Yes. So here we found the target value. Array of previous example is this. And if we draw the binary search tree for the corresponding value, that is we first the midpoint that is 11. The before array, before the medium point is the 6 and the next part of is the 33. If we further find the midpoint that is 3 and 7 and the 33 for the 33, the mid before point is 32 and mid after point is 53. So we started at the root that is first midpoint that is 11. And next, we go to the second midpoint, that is 6. So we search in the left sub 3. In the left sub 3, the next midpoint is 6. And we search further in the right sub 3. In the right sub 3, the midpoint is 7. So in binary search analysis, the worst case complexity, what is the maximum depth of the recursive call in binary search as a function of n? Each level in the recursion, we split the array in half, that is divided by 2. Therefore, the maximum recursion depth is floor log of n at base 2. And the worst case is also if log n at base 2. So basically, in binary search, we divide the array in the two parts. So in each part, each level in the recursion, we find the value. And in the binary search, tree, we see in the binary search, tree. Therefore, maximum recursion depth is height of the tree and the height of the binary search tree is log of n at base 2. So, the worst case complexity is also log n at base 2. And in average case, it is also log n at base 2. If we talk about the best case, the complexity is order of 1. These are the references.